people of the world. It's Feb 6, 2021, and it's about 3.40 in the afternoon, Philippine time. And I got this one from Japs Japs for the afternoon gift. And I am not feeling so well, guys. Just a drop of rain, imagine. Talagang mahina na rin yung ating katawan, no? Para na ulan na ako ng few drops lang ng tagiti in Bicol. Droplets. Ayan. But anyway, we have medicines naman. So, take the rest and everything. I'll be okay. How are you guys? A lot of ganaps already happened. And, um, marami na tayong nami missed out and I know that a lot of people kahit few lang sila na subscribers ko are also very um attentive every day <laughs> of what I'm gonna feed no of what I'm gonna publish in the YouTube channel anyway guys meron na kong few lang na na records I'm gonna upload it na lang later when I get to have a Wi-Fi connection at the time that God only knows so, I'm just taking the time here. Um, no need to worry. I'm supposed to go home already. But, it seems that it's God's will really to, to stay pa rin. No? I'm just so happy that I have cloud 9. I have not been able to eat cloud 9 for a long time. I think the last time um, that I was able to really eat cloud nine was when we still have the store our store was uh named just a store <laughs> my dad was the one who made the title of the store ayan po ang dami daming ganaps guys no na nako connect connect ko guys no you know what guys even if my youtube channel is like personal but i know that Yung mga issues na nang, nangyari sa akin, ba parang mukbang siya, parang marathon na mga injustices, masasakit. But God has given me strength, you know, to go on. And it's always His grace, no? It's always His grace. Kung ako lang tatanungin nyo guys, with my human frailty and weaknesses, it's like I want to have a gun and, you know, be the one to solve them up. Just like how they would do it, no? There was one lawyer that I was able to hear na ganun nga yung mga decisions nila sometimes, no? Na in extrajudicial killing nila. No? While they fight against the Duterte government with the EJK, but in their secret lives, they're also doing it. Paano pa kaya, guys, yung biktima talaga? ba? That's why I'm always praying. I am telling you guys, tao tayo pare-pareho, no? Kung hindi ako marunong magtimpi, hindi ako marunong magpray. Nako guys, no? Sa dami ng ginawa interconnected, no? The priest, the bishops, na pag-alamanan ko po na ang nag-finance daw sa Chinese na mabili yung Requejo's building across our uh, house in Naga City is actually Bishop Triaterona. Ganun ka yaman po yung ating simbahan, no? But Never have any um, consistent and really like concrete help to the less privileged, no? And even to the ex-convents ng mga tao, kagaya ko, no? Because though I am a millionaire with regards to inheritances na land, syempre, kumbaga sa Bicol, nagdusay kanin oras mo being missionary na tinutukluan kami ka Edukan Franciscans, na di ay iisip na libaga kami. Hindi na magtipon, no? Sometimes, I'm not even asking pagka may relatives na who comes, no? Kasi kung, di ba, if, if I really need it, I could, you know, work hard Can I ask? Something like that. Di po ako kayo nagparaisip, no? Never. If I could do jobs for free, I'd do them. Na nasobrahan naman, guys, di ba? Na parang, nagbe-beg up and yet you have done a lot of things like intellectual works, No? Sometimes yung mga tao hindi rin nag-iisip, no, na bakit naman ikaw mismo mag-isip ka, even even in the radio station, I was able to, you know, 
caray a lot of listeners, no? Because it's the first time that they have, in the Radio Caritas Maria 98.3 FM, the Sacred Heart's Cry for His Divine Mercy with the Immaculate Heart of Our Lady of Mercy, no? Kaya nga, pinuntiri ako ni Jiba Jola, ni Rosie Sigara, at ito naman si Tesman Dibas, pinagkaperahan po nila yung program. Pero ako hindi, no? Yung mga ganun guys, na parang dapat naman, ako lang kasi guys, no? Kung ako yung superior, I would think about your welfare. Na ikaw, lay ka. Hindi ka naman kagaya sa amin na nasa convent. That people really would give us, di ba? Kasi yun ang spirituality niya ni. Eh. Ang promise ni God, be faithful to the call of, of the, um, di ba, of the community. No? For example, the Franciscans, they are supposed to be a mendicant community, no? Living a faithful life supposed to be of St. Francis of Assisi, living it with the faithfulness of St. Maximilian Maria Colby, being Marian, no? Having a Marian vow. But if you are concerned enough with the people who works for you, especially in the radio, it is very remote naman, guys, no? That hindi mo man lang ma-advise yung follower mo na blinded na, na rin ako, di ba? Na, I am a lay person. Dapat kung may magbibigay, di ba? Sila na mismo magsasabi, oh, pumasahin mo, sister, wala ka naman trabaho, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Di ba? There should be a dialogue like that because it's really different if you are living in one community. Kaya ang dami rin po talaga mga imbalances yung community that I could speak of. No? Especially nung no, umalis akong basta sa USI, no? Na ang ganda ng career path that Sister Gracia na mukat-kat. Uh, help me with, no? Kaya nga nag yan si Sister, eh. Maganda yung tinulungan niya ako dito, ganyan. Tapos bigla na lang akong kinuha ng mga madre, no? It was a destabilization plot because our superior that time came from Russia, a communist country, guys. No? From Kazakhstan. Sis Sister Mother Maria Joanna Paula. Ha! I'm catching my breath. <laughs> diba guys? Yun ang narealize ko ngayon. She came from a communist country and apparently and obviously, instead of them helping the society in the Soviet Union, particularly in Kazakhstan, to help the people know that there is really God, mukhang guys, siya pa yung na trip down, no? Of being a religious. And that's what he did, she did to me. I was doing well in USI. You know, I had vast promotion. Okay lang, no? Yun ang nakita nila, guys. Na I was successful. Maganda ng buhay ko. I, I am living a spiritual life naman, no? Every 5 o'clock, punta na ako nang magmas. Ay, nasa Manila pa ako, guys. Meron na ako. Kaya even before I was able to get to know the Franciscans and the Opus Dei, God has really been leading me already. Like my, my Lola also um, would make us to pray together the Holy Rosary every 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock, the Angelus. So we have that already kind of way of life. So hindi naman po pwede magyabang yung mga Franciscans, no? Our clan, sabihin mo mang imperfect, no? Pero meron naman kaming formalidad. May mga, may mga, ang tawang dito, kabaitan. Pero naman, syempre, mga pangit. Especially, guys, if there are tinatawag na mga abot, no? Those in-laws who came from other uh, families who has different backgrounds, has different race, has different social class, has different formations, no? And sentiments and objectives in life. Kaya, dun yung nagkakaroon ng complications. Yung iba pa nga dyan, pinagbigyan na prostitute, no? Kinabit until now, kabit lang. Pero grabe naman guys, walang repentan. Ang sa akin kasi, nag-prostitute ka, okay, magbago kong buhay ka. Diba? You were given a chance. Out of true love, inako ka. Pinagbigyan ka pa sa mga kayamanan. Even ahead of the rest of the family members. Ay, hindi na na, ano, guys, hindi na na kontento. Kumuha pa ng mga prostitute. Walang repentance, mahirap po. Ang advice ko po sa inyo in the families. We do not want to put down prostitutes. But apparently, they are already possessed by the devil. When you start to sell out your body, kaya kayong mga nasadlak sa ganun, get up! 
pumunta kayo sa pari, maghingi kayo ng confession and whatever is needed to help you. No? To help you with. Kasi alam ko may mga nagsasabi niya na ang katikati daw, ganyan. And like, sometimes yung, yung, uh, yung advice ko is that, you ask God, you decide that you do not want it. No? You, you go out. Maglakad-lakad ka, lumabas ka na may makikita kang ibang tao na mawala yun, no? Because apparently it's a demonic possession. No? Kasi you sold out your body. No? And you've also sold out your soul by doing so. So, yun lang guys ang ano ko dyan. Pag binigyan kayo ng chance, huwag niyo sayangin. And in fact, di ba, nagsama na kayo, then there must be true love. The true love should heal you. Ang makaka- nakakatakot lang nga, hindi nag-repent, no? Kahit mayaman na, ang dami ng pera. Parang hinahanap niya pa rin yung ganun, no? Tapos ano yung may tutulungan din yung ibang prostitute? Sa pag- pamamagitan ng pag-aapid. Mali naman. No? Kaya abusada talaga yung... Uh, naka, ano sa pa- family namin. Nagkakapira po yan eh. Na mga prostitute. Hindi man ano, ang gagaling niya ng magsalita, no? Ang gagaling po manira sa iba para sa, sa kanila ibibigay yung mga pasalubong, benefits, and all. No, I could name another one. Dalawa yung nakikita ko na nakasali sa clan namin na super duper makapanira. Tapos nangangaralaakaan sa mga beneficios, no? So, yan lang po ang advice ko sa inyo. If you, if you know of someone na ganyan, tulungan nyo, makakonfess, no? Mahil muna. Kasi pagsasali yan sa clan nyo, kung anong atik ka yan, guys, ay apiktado ang buong angkan. No? May atik yan na dara. In yan, in, 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 sa spiritual life na curse. No? Sumpa. Sumpa. That's why, you need to ask the Lord God, no? To put a stop in the curse. Especially, example, yung naanakan ng pari. O nagsama sa pari. May sumpa po yan na inaapod. May curse dang inaapod. So, di ba, you have to ask the Lord God. Nasa decision man po yan. Tsaka sa paghagad ka mga nagrabe and hagad nindo na kung ano-anong mga kayamanan. Minsan mga tinatao man talaga ni God. Tano dahil nindo haga dun, ang kabanalan, ang katultulan. So, for, for those of you who are having also temptations like that, you ask the Lord God. Sabi mo, di ko po rin kaya, Lord. I cannot take this. I cannot carry this alone. So, can you help me, Lord? Something like that. Bako po madali. Bako madali. Pero, mga tataong ka kang Diyos ng grasya in the right time. Di nido pagtawaran ang paghagad sa Diyos. No? Ang makatakot ko naghahagad ka mo sa impirno. No? Di ba na-mention ko na yan sa inyo, guys, na inalaw ni God na makataram sa ko ng revelation ang si Satan. Na sabihan ko daa ang mga nag-worship sa Saia na sige da ang haragad nin kwarta tsaka daga. Na mayo man siyang itataong ura-ura dang kwarta tsaka daga. Tama man siya. No? So ang tendency guys, kung magpara persist siya magpara hagad, ililidyan ni Satan syempre na magkasala. No? Crimen illegalities. Ang sabi nga ni da kayan si mga nasadlak daw sa illegal drugs activities. Are those people daw na hingi ng hingi na maraming pera? Dapat ang pagpray po nindo kay God. And ang pagpray tayo ito, sana Lord, ang sinful, no, and legal, and a lawful manner. May man, maraot po maghaga din araw ka yan. Kundi, hahaga nun in particular na araw ka yan. So, yan po ang masasabi ko sa Indo na dawa may kalintura ako. <laughs> Napaparecord ako ngunyan. Just because I have cloud nine here. Trying to relax lang. After having coffee. After having had coffee. Teka, suun mo apakota ako mga record record. Pero, I was not really feeling well. So, anyway. And, Mr. Darwin Dormitorio has been, you know, following me. You know, he has been asking for a companion, guys. Nangangagluduwa si Darwin Dormitorio. Pero, Sige, I'll pray lang for him. So, that's it, guys, for uh, this vlog. And see you in the next vlog. Thank you and happy Saturday.